Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. I'm going to start this video with a, a bit of a, an explanation for those of you who have been asking me. Uh, the major question I've gotten lately is how do I suggest a video? Well, you just go to my website if you like, www.thetechfirm.com and contact Tony and send me an email. Uh, if you want, you can also send messages through the YouTube channel at The Tech Firm. I'll put all these links in the description um, of the video when I post it. LinkedIn, you can get to me through LinkedIn, and lastly, Google+. Plus. So there's many different ways to get a hold of me, and you can just say, hey, Tone, uh, how about such and such? And you never know. I might have done it already, or maybe it just needs a good refresher. So feel free to suggest your ideas. And today's idea was given to me by a customer we were working with the other day, and we ran into something very simple, and that was his switch, the, uh, the log on the switch had some errors in it and the big thing was such as my office here you can see gigabit ethernet 2013 down up down up and you can see it all the time up down all the time and the question was quite simply is that something I need to be concerned about is that everyday stuff what is that and I said hmm good question so if you were lucky and I'm gonna stress the word lucky we can just go to the show run interface gig 2013 and if you were lucky, there'd be a description there. And it would say Joe's PC, server, router, firewall, whatever it happens to be. And there is none. So there you go. Uh, to this day, I don't understand why people do not uh, put description on their switch ports or router ports. And I don't get that. I know there's some ports that change all the time. That's fine. But um, at the end of the day, you, you should have important stuff labeled uh, via description. And that way, this, the config follows uh, anybody who gets into it will see it and bang they'll see what's going on all right enough of that so first thing we need to do is find out what Mac address is on that port again I've typed these out in advance so I don't bore you with my typos and you can see there's the Mac address and it's dynamic it's not static it's on VLAN 1 and it's 2013 and that's good to know if I would have seen a, a lot of Mac addresses on that well then that means that it may have been connected to a, another switch a hub a wireless access point and that sort of thing but this is easy it's just one Mac address there so the second thing is uh, what IP is that MAC address because the MAC address can only go so far. Well this switch is also a router, it's routing between VLANs so I can just simply show ARP and then pipe include the MAC address that we're hunting for and there's the IP right there. Now you've got the MAC, you've got the IP, you know the VLAN, uh, the big question now is well who is it, what is it? So I'm going to get another command prompt here and we're just going to try pinging it and hopefully you can ping it if you can't it's not the end of the world they may just have a firewall enabled that sort of thing in this case yes I can ping it well the next thing I want to do is use a Microsoft command in your environment you might be able to use NS lookup or an LDAP lookup whatever uh, in my case I'm just gonna use wins a small little network and this should work so NBT stat Microsoft command dash a means I don't know the name I just know the IP and it's gonna go resolve that so it's found the domain or work group TTF the tech firm zero is the computer name or the person logged into it Ruby and there you go so Ruby is the computer name I know who that is that's Sue the office manager so now I'm going to finish this off for you we're actually going to label this port so let's go back to the switch here and config T for terminal configuration via terminal and then interface gig 2013 and then this time I'm putting a description in here I know her cable is labeled E as an echo and then Sue's desk. I'm going to avoid putting Ruby in there because it's a laptop. She may come back with a different laptop or a desktop. It may change in the future. So I just want to know who sits there. More than likely uh, that's enough to help me out in life. And that's it. So now we'll get out of the config. We're going to check this out by simply doing a show run interface gig 2013 and there's our description so from now on anybody who looks at the switch or any network management tools that query the switch you can now find out where that port goes and there you go hope that helps have a good day bye for now wait a minute I forgot to answer the question is this normal or is this a problem well in this case uh, because it's just a user sitting at their desk with a laptop uh, the ports are going up and down as being absolutely normal because the computer goes off or gets disconnected, port goes down, computer gets powered on or gets reconnected, port goes up. So in this case this is completely normal. If this was a, a device that does not get powered on an awful lot like a server, a router, a firewall, that sort of thing, I would be more concerned. So in this case it's absolutely normal. Have a good day.